In this lesson, we will have so much fun. I'll teach you how to make a title like that with the usage of an effect, with pre-composing, with luma matting and some other fancy stuff. So go right in and try to create your own. Let us start right away. I click on this icon and I create my first new composition. It is HD size, 30 frames and 10 seconds long. Please right click, select new and select a solid. At first make a black solid, I'll make a completely black solid and then create a new one because we need two solids and make it a white one. Those layers will reveal the stuff we want to show. So I select now window and I select the effects and presets and I select film burn. The CC burn film is a great effect and I have the playhead right at the beginning. I press on the keyframe to make the first keyframe. I go to one second and I can be certain where I am by hitting one second here because we have 30 frames. I have to be precisely on one second. Okay. And at one second, I want the burn to reach a level of 100. So the entire screen is covered into black. Now I go forward, depending on how long my title should stay on the screen. Let's say it will stay for three seconds. So at about four seconds, I once again check here if I have four seconds. Okay. I need to place a new keyframe. And to do this, I click on the white solid. I press U to reveal all keyframes and I click on this button. This will add a new keyframe and both of these keyframes have a value of 100. I go again one second forward to five seconds and now the burn can have zero. So the burn flows in, stays on the screen and then flows out. That's everything you need to have prepared in order to reveal something. Now I click on both of these. I right click and I select pre-compose. You can also use the shortcut control or command shift C. This will pre-compose and I will call it mad revealer. Okay. Because I want to remember what these layers were about. All right. I don't need so much information. So I click this button and now let us prepare the title text. This will be very simple. At first I select title here. Let me select something bolder, maybe the Bebus font. Okay. That's definitely more bold. And I select black for here, or maybe I even stay white. I'll see in a moment. Okay. Let's start out with gray the first. And now the second title will be a subtitle subtitle here. Maybe I select another font. So they are not completely the same. I don't seem to find anything interesting, but it doesn't really matter. Let's stay with this cool font. It will be a bit wild, but that's okay. Now I can select another color, maybe red. Red is okay. And from the character settings, I make it smaller. So it fits the screen a bit better. All right. We are fully prepared. These two should be also pre-composed because this will make it easier to change the name of it. Right click on these two. If you have the two text boxes prepared, pre-compose and I'll call it change title here because always, if I want to change the text here, I'll double click on this composition. I can double click here and I can change the text as I want. For example, to your name and your tagline or the video title or something else. Okay. I'll close this composition. Let's go back to comp one and the comp one name isn't convenient at all. So I select control and command K and I rename it to title simply. Okay. We have our title prepared. What is the last step we need to take? We need to put the mat revealer above the title. We need to click on the title and in the track mat options, select the last one, Luma inverted mat mat revealer. If you don't see the track mat and the mode options, you can go on bottom here and open them up with the second button. After effects wants to make it convenient. So if you don't need those options, you always hide them. But in this case, I will use them. So I'll select a second track mat. I place Luma inverted mat. And now watch what happens. Instead of a boring reveal, we have something really, really cool. The text is slowly revealing as the mat reveals the screen. How does this work? The Luma mat uses the brightness settings of this layer. 
Everything which is on black is revealed, everything which is on white is hidden. So once this screen is fully revealed, also this text reveals and this creates such a nice animation. You can really see the title appears, it's not boring, it's a really cool animation and later it disappears as the screen fades out. To make it even a bit more interesting, I can click on the change title here. I activate the 3D for this layer so it can move not only up, down, left, right, but also forward and backwards on the Z axis. You don't have to know everything about it, just activate the 3D, click on it, press P to open up the position and you can see I have three values, the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. If I deactivate the 3D layer, I have only X and Y. Okay, let me activate it because I want to work with the third one. I click on the third value, maybe I go to the beginning somewhere here. Okay, third value, negative 220. Okay, what happened? This revealed somewhere in the back going forward to me. I'll click a keyframe here. One second later, I make it zero, so it comes back. Now I only take those keyframes, place them on the left side, so they start and watch what happens. Instead of just a boring animation, I'll go slowly forward. The title shows up and reveals slowly. This really creates a nice animation and you can change the keyframes if you want it to appear a bit quicker, a bit more smooth. We are nearly done, really. Now I have to select those keyframes. In order for them to not be so boring, I select the second one, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. What happens now? The animation is a bit different, you can notice, but it's still not quite there. So you select both keyframes, you go to the graph editor and make one slight adjustment. The graph editor allows us to edit the keyframes more in detail. I hope this is not too advanced. We are going slow here. You only have to select those two keyframes. Click here, maybe select this keyframe. I pull this little handle towards the middle. So what will happen now? The text, the value, will go very quickly at the beginning and then it will slow down. Why do I want it to do this? Because I want the text to very quickly come and then slowly fade into the place, into the right place. Okay, let's preview it. You can notice it, it starts really quick and swift and then it stops for a while. And this creates a really, really nice motion. Here, when it fades out, we can do the opposite. I'll select those keyframes. Uh, it starts somewhere here. I just paste them. I select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. I don't have to do anything, it will automatically go out of the screen like previously, just it's reversed. I can make them a bit closer because I don't quite like the motion, okay? It should start a bit earlier, all right? And that's it. That's how you make an interesting title like that. Thank you so much for paying attention in this lesson. If you'd like to learn After Effects with me, you have links to my courses in the description. For now, please subscribe to this channel if you like those tutorials and see you in the next one.